Sesame Street show 121 in color. That is one great looking bike you've got there, Cedric. Brand new? Yes. Never never ridden before? No. No? Hi, right, nice to see you. We were just uh, taking a look at Cedric's new bike here. He's never even ridden it, but we're gonna we're gonna give him a push in just a minute. Hey, we're gonna have a good day today. You know what we're gonna do today, Troy? What? Well, I'm gonna read a story about a dangerous dragon. And you know what else? We're gonna go on a treasure hunt. Wanna go on a treasure hunt in a little while? Yeah. Do you? Okay, we will. But first, I think we better get Cedric down to Mr. Hooper's to buy some jelly beans, okay? Might need a little push to get going for the first time here. Get them turned around, and we'll blast off. Four, three, two, one, blast off!
crummy wheels, let's visit with a few of my own personal favorite animals. The... Oscar, Oscar, excuse me, but do you have to visit with your animal friends right now? Well, I thought I would, you know what I mean? Well, because you know it's silly song time, and I was wondering if we could do the song of before and after, before you went to visit with your friends, because after the song of before and after, then you can visit with your animal friends. Uh, I can? Yeah, you know, uh, before you go to visit with your friends, we'll do the song of before and after, and then after the song of before and after, then you can visit with your animal friends. Well, it's kind of confusing, but okay. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, you know what it's time for? Yeah! yeah! What's it time for? It's, it's silly, silly song time. time! That's right, it's silly song time. Ah. And today, our silly song is all about before and after. Before oh, and yeah. after. I like that. Oh, yeah. That's right, right, right. Now, before we start singing, we have to clear our throats. So let's go. Let's do that. All right, all right. And before we start singing, we have to warm up. La, 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 Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh, boy, it's cold outside today. But now it's time to eat my cake. Mm hmm. Only I wonder, should I take my... Hat and coat and mittens off before I sit down and eat the cake? Or after I sit down and eat the cake? I think I should take them off after I sit down and eat the cake. You should take off your coat and your cap and mittens before you sit down and eat the cake. Oh, thanks. Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh boy! Now I'm all ready to sit down and eat my piece of cake. Mm hmm. Wait a minute. What's this? There's a napkin beside my piece of cake. I wonder. Should I put the napkin on before I sit down and eat the cake? Or after I sit down and eat the cake? I think I should put the napkin on after I sit down and eat the cake. You should put your napkin on before you sit down and eat the cake. Otherwise, you might get your clothes messy. Hey, thanks again. Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Oh boy. I'm ready to eat my cake. Mm. Wait a minute. I wonder. Should I open my mouth before I eat the cake? Or after I eat the cake? Should I open my mouth before I eat the cake? Or after I eat the cake? You're on your own. Oh, I'm on my own. I've got to make the decision myself. Don't worry, <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I think I should open my mouth after I eat the cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Sing a song of before and after. Sing a song and then sing some more. 
Sing a song and then try to tell me which comes after and which comes before. Okay, now, what we just had before was the song of before and after. Right. Now, after that, we're going to have a visit with my favorite animals, right? Right. And Oscar, hey, by the way, what are your favorite animals? Pigs. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> it has a round body, two eyes, two ears. It has four legs and one tail. <laughs> is real fat. He looks like a hog. <laughs> it looks like a bunny rabbit. And it is, and it is a bunny rabbit because a bunny rabbit looks like that. <laughs> um, the ears are on the head. Quick, quick. The tail then the back. It's like a end of a screw. The tail curled up like uh, worms. Quick, quick. Boink. There's little pig, big pigs and baby pigs. And uh, the mother takes care of it. My mother doesn't want a pig. She'll be winking all day now. Wink, wink, wink. A little sound. All right, you ready for this? You know what it is? It's a banana, right? Ordinary banana. Use it in breakfast time. Put it on your cereal. Banana. But where do you see this? <coughs> Want to see that again? <coughs> I'm blowing a banana. It's making music. <coughs> you don't believe it? OK, here's what's going on. I have a horn, a bulb horn. Squeeze the bulb. <coughs> makes music okay now if you can't see this horn it looks like you're blowing the banana and the banana's making music watch <coughs> see what i mean okay now i'm gonna play this trick on ernie so come on let's see what's going on <laughs> 
Hello, there, Gordon. Hello, Ernie. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Ernie, uh, are you ready for your daily game? My daily game? Your daily oh, game. certainly am. This one is called What's Three called? of These Things yes. Belong Together. Right. And, of course, one of them doesn't. Three belong together. Three belong and together. And one of them doesn't belong together. Now, you have a harmonica. A harmonica? Over there. Yes. Have a whistle right a whistle. here. whistle. Have a horn a right horn. here. You have a banana. And a banana. Over here. Okay? You well. dig all that? All right. Well, okay. that's very easy. You think that's, that's easy? That's very simple, yes. Which one doesn't belong? The banana does not belong with the others. Ernie, are you sure about that? I'm certainly sure. You are? Yes, because you see, all of the others make music. Yeah. They see, with the uh, harmonica here, you see, right. the harmonica makes music. Beautiful music. I okay. like that, yeah. You now, the, uh, the police whistle here. Uh-huh. See, that, that uh, makes music, too. Stops a lot of traffic. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, the uh, little horn here. Yeah. That uh, you can blow into, and that makes music, too. The regular Miles Davis tried right. a banana. But the banana, as everyone knows, does not make music. Oh, uh, Ernie, are you sure about that? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Everybody knows the banana doesn't make music. Everybody may know it, but only you can try it. I can try it? You can try it. Try to blow it. See what happens. You mean... Blow the banana, yeah. You want me to blow the banana? I want you to blow the banana, man. You want Good. me to blow yeah. the banana? Blow the banana. That's a ridiculous thing. No, it isn't. Blow it. Blow it again. Hey, that's weird. This is a musical banana. It's a... Holy cow. You I've like never... that? Yes, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> you really like I've that, I've never huh? seen anything Do like that again. in my life. Do it again, Ernie. You see what's happening? Wait a minute. Yeah. When I was blowing into the banana, you were squeezing the horn. You're right, Ernie. This banana wasn't making any music. It wasn't making a sound. You were making the music. I was making the music. You were tricking me. I was tricking you. That's funny. You dig the trick? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, that's man, that's too funny. much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I kind of like it. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah. That's well, a nice trick. You like that, huh? Hey, you know what? We ought to play this trick on somebody else. You really want to do that? Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll wait here, uh -huh. and when somebody comes along, we'll play that trick on them. Good idea, Ernie. How about that? We'll have a ball. Okay. Come Are the on. things all in order here? Everything's dum, in order. Dum, yeah. dum, 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 hey, dum, dum. Well, listen. Hey, you. What? Come over here. Hello. Now, look over here. Now, yeah. see here, Are there are four things down here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, three of those things belong together, but one of them doesn't. Can you tell which of those things does not belong with the others? Hmm? Sure. Ha. The banana. The banana. Right. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Are you super sure? Yep. Okay. You see, now, every monster knows that the harmonica you eat. Um, chum, chum. You eat a harmonica? Yeah. And you eat a horn. Um, chum, 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 chum. You eat a horn? And you eat a whistle. Um, 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 um. You eat but, a whistle? But every monster knows that you make beautiful music with a banana. Thank you. A, That's a nice tone that banana has. A, and the harmonica was delicious. You're welcome. That's weird. It's really strange. Oh, my finger! Oh, my toes! Oh, my thumb! Oh, my nose! Oh, my elbow! Oh, my knee! Oh, my face! Oh, poor me! Otherwise, I feel fine. You know, I feel fine, too. How do you feel, Bren? I feel okay. Oh, just okay? How yeah. about you, Paul? Fine. What about you, Nina? Fine. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you feel fine. Oh, here comes our old skywriting friend, Alphabet Bates. I wonder how he feels. Wonder what the mystery letter for today is. Oh, there he goes with a straight line. Now, what? Could be an I or an H. What else? L. Could be an L, sure. K. Could be a K. 
Oh, look, he's going curvy. That could be a P. Oh, no, he's no. gone too far. What's it got to be? A D. D. Must be D. a D. A dandy D. What's happening, man? I was about to ask you the same question. What's that? I don't know, but it sure is fat. It's the letter D. The what? The letter D. Oh. Like to hear a story about the letter D, boys? Do we have any choice? No. Late last week, a real old dog went out digging in a terrible fog, found some dice on a hollow log, and won a duck from a friendly frog. He walked along till he spotted a door, dropped his duck down on the floor, found a dime and bought a dinosaur. Dinosaur? So that's the letter D. Boy, sure it's fat. Do you know what else we learn, boys? No. If you dig a dinosaur, drop your duck for a dime. Now this is the story of the Diamond D and the Dangerous Dragon. Now, there are a lot of D words in this story, so you listen very carefully for them. Once upon a time, there lived in a castle a very dignified duke. Yeah, duke David is my name. You know, I have a daughter named Dora, who is a delightful damsel. And here comes Dora, dancing through the door. She's wearing a dress with, with daisies on it. Dora, my delightful daughter, I have a present for you <gasps> because you are so delightful. Aw, oh, do tell, Daddy. Here is a letter D. <gasps> made of solid diamonds. You may wear it around your neck. It stands for Dora. It also stands for delightful. Dora, may I put the bracelet around your delightful neck? Oh, please do, yes. Okay, thank you, Duke. Just put it around your neck, and you'll look absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm sure. There. Oh, it's dandy. Do you love it? Yeah. And with that, Duke David departed. Through the door. The door. Oh. That's another good D word. And don't you forget it. <laughs> OK, Duke. And Dora danced out, too. la dee dee -de la dee -de. I'm going into the garden to dance around and dig the day. You do that, Dora. Now, neither the Duke nor Dora knew that someone else lived in their castle. His name was Donald. Ha, ha, ha! And Donald was a dragon. I am Donald, the dangerous dragon. Now, Donald, the dangerous dragon, lived in a dungeon under the house. Yeah, it's a deep dungeon. It's a deep, dark dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty, depressing dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty, depressing, disorderly dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, depressing, disorderly, disgusting dungeon. Is that enough of that? Definitely. Good. Now, the best thing that you could say about Donald, the <laughs> dangerous dragon, was that, uh, well, he used a lot of D words. Otherwise, he wasn't really very nice at all. Doggone right. And right now I'm here to steal that pretty diamond D which Duke David gave to his daughter Dora. And here she comes now. Now Dora, Duke David's daughter, danced through the door and saw Donald the dangerous dragon. And she said, Doggy. Doggy, that's what I said. <clears throat> uh, listen, uh, Dora, dignified Duke David's daughter, thinks that I, Donald the Dangerous Dragon, am a doggy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dora, Duke David's daughter, is a dummy. My goodness, you are the dearest little doggy I have ever seen. Excuse me. Not only is she a dummy, she's also a ding-a-ling. If you will 
come and live in our house, little doggy. I will give you this diamond bee, which my daddy gave to me. Oh, yeah? Yes. I didn't think I'd get it that easily. But just then, in came dignified Duke David. He was carrying a stick. Oh, no. Carrying a stick may not be dignified for a duke, but it comes in handy when you meet a dangerous dragon. Oh, oh, dragon, dragon, oh, oh, and with that, dragon. Duke David chased the dragon Donald all around the grounds. The dragon ducked, and he dodged, and he darted. And finally, the duke dumped the dragon in the duck pond. Done. I don't know. He sure looked like a doggy to me. So to punish Donald, the Duke made the following decree. From now on, this dangerous dragon has to live in a dog house, eat dog biscuits, and play like a doggy to amuse my daughter. Or else. Or else what? Or else I'll dump you in the duck pond again. Oh, bow wow. And so Dora, the Duke's daughter, Mama. and David, the dignified Duke, and their not so dangerous doggy Donald Ugh. lived happily ever after. And I'll bet that you didn't even know there were so many D words, did you? Uh, just put it right there, Dudley. Okay. Today, I would like to show you the letter D. That's right. Now, this is the capital D, and uh, uh, where's the small D, Dudley? Uh, I ate it for dinner. Well, get me another one. Yeah, okay. There you go. Thanks. Uh, now, as Dudley suggested, the word dinner begins with a D. Dudley, mind your manners. Don't chew with your mouth open. Meat so. Uh. <laughs> you know how Dudley sure does eat a wicked D. He ate one of these, and he ate one of these. You know that? He likes these. You like these? No. No? You don't like to eat these? Okay. Um, I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm sure you know what this is, right? What do you mean, no, Troy? You do so know what it is. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you later. And you know what? You may not know what this is, though. Yeah. A backwards B. A backwards B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a small D. Yeah, it's D. Down P. It's an upside down P. But it's That's a, a D. This it's is a, a D. Yeah, okay, now what's the difference? Huh? This one's big. That's one big. Yeah, this what what else do you call it besides big? Um, a capital, capital D. D. Yeah, that's what that is. And what do you call this? Small, small D. D. Small D. Not an upside down <laughs> B. It's a small D. That's right. Now we've seen a lot of this big D right here, right? The capital D? Okay. So I think it's time to give this little small D a chance, okay? D, dog. <laughs> wow, wow. D. You know what I'm doing? I'm planting some new seeds so I can grow a new flower. Oh, you want to look at them? Look at these seeds. Aren't they little? It's amazing to think that a little bitty seed like that is going to grow up to be a big flower like this one that's already sitting on my ledge. You know, you just put it in here and you cover it up just a little bit and put a little water on it. And gee, you know, it, it's going to take a long time before these seeds turn into a plant like that but you always wonder what the plant's going to look like. I wish I were magic and could make it just grow overnight so it would grow really fast. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Okay, one last thing for follow the leader. One last thing. Five giant steps to see the fox. Five giant One, steps. two, three, four, five. And here's Mr. Fox. Oh, you got it. For you, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Ten. Hey, how do you like that? He's ugly. He's ugly? Yeah, look why at all the stuff in his coat. Well, what do you what what is that? What's I, happening to he him? Must be oh, he must be old. He must be he must pretty must be high in that coat. You think he's old? I think because he's, he's losing just, his hair. Yeah. He's just um getting he's just getting some hair. He's getting his gray hair. He, no, he's not getting his gray hair. What is he getting? Some his brown hair. He's getting his new coat. coat. New coat, right? What? He's See, he's buying himself a new coat, still, right? That's, that's his that's old right. coat. That's his old. He's mm -hmm. getting coat by patches. No, now what time of the year? It's he's getting his summer. He's getting his summer coat now, right? Listen, that yeah, stuff is heavier than this stuff. That's right. That was his winter coat, and he's that stuff is longer. He's shedding his winter coat. Why? That in the back because that's coat. very very heavy to keep nice and warm all winter long, right? So and that now he's going to get his. Hmm? That keeps him nice and hot. Mm -hmm. That keeps him nice and warm. That heavy heavy coat. No. Then what about the gray stuff? And the new up in here is lighter, so that's going to be a summer coat. Yeah, I like right? the black part of him. You like the black part? I like he, the way he's all different colors. It's pretty. He's what, what what colors does he have, Bryn? He has brown, orange, black, and orange. Brown and orange, right? And gray. And gray. gray. Uh, hey, have you ever heard the old expression, smart as a fox? Yep. No. Mm. Foxes are pretty smart, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, got another question for I you. I know. He was so smart. And he found a way to get out of that hot thing. Oh. I know. I know. I know. Um. I know how they get away from dogs and hunters. How? How? If, they, if there's like a lake or a river around, they go. They jump them. in the lake or river, yeah. and so they can't smell it. Right. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, one last question. What letter does fox end with? X. 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 Right. X. This is an X. Even upside down, it's still an X. <laughs> uh, many words begin with X, such as, uh, well, of course, we've got X uh, begins, uh, did I show you when you, yeah, I showed you that. <clears throat> All right, uh, X is a very important letter. Many words end with X, <laughs> such as, uh, oh, you've, uh, I ain't came down here on that kind of phone. Pardon me? He, oh, yeah. Uh, fox. <laughs> Box. <laughs> Ox. Uh, fix. Axe. <clears throat> nah, nah. One more X I should mention. Exit. <laughs> Goodbye. So I was sound asleep, snoring up a storm. <laughs> really? and then, yeah, and then came Susan and said, Gordon, wake up, wake up. Somebody left this letter for you. So I looked in the letter and found out it was a treasure hunt letter. Oh, oh yeah. A treasure hunt letter. And they told me right here on Sesame Street there's a treasure. And I know what? Oh, there boy, is a oh, clue boy. Here. I know. Hi. Oh, Big Bird. Hi there, how are Big Bird. How are you? What's that? Hi, kid. Yeah. What? Did I hear you say treasure hunt? You heard yeah, me say yeah, treasure hunt. A treasure hunt right yeah. here on Sesame sure, Street? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, what's a treasure hunt? It's where you hunt for treasure. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. Very simple. You hunt for treasure and you get clues. And every time you get a clue, you get closer to the treasure. Now, here's the first clue. Watch this. You have to rhyme it, Big Bird. Did you know that? No. Well, stand by, Poet okay. Laureate, because here we go. I'm good so at that. Find the next clue. Go past the chairs. Right. Pass the chairs. Pass chairs. It's right. one step up from the bottom of the... What? Up the fence. No, oh. it has to rhyme with chairs. Lamp post? No, oh. tell him. Tell, tell him. Stairs! Stairs! Oh, sure. Pass the chairs. Right. Pass, the chairs. Pass the chairs. Yeah. Over we go. Pass the chairs. 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 There it is. Oh, 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 there wait, it is. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait just a second. Wait, wait, just a what? second. What? Uh, the clue said that it was one step up. Right. Now, I have to count the steps. And make sure that it's one step up. Count. All right. One. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that Boy, must be it. it's a good thing that I know my number one. You bet it is, Big Bird. One, two, three, four.
one penny. One. One bird. One. One wind-up toy. One. One cow? One. One belly button. Another clue. You ready, Big Bird? Oh, boy, can I... I can't wait till we get to that treasure. Boy, I can imagine we're going to have gold and rubies and uh, armor no, and swords. No, 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 no. And, uh, It's not that kind of treasure, Big Bird, I, I don't think. I, I wouldn't really bet on it anyway. Hmm? No, no. 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 Just listen to the Come clue, on, Big the Bird. Clue. Here we go. Remember, you have to find the rhyme. Mm -hmm. You followed the last clue carefully. We did that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. And did just what it said. The next clue is on the playground fence. At the height of Gordon's... That's uh, the rhyme. Go ahead, go ahead, Big Bird. What is it? At the rhyme height of Bo Gordon's sled. No, no, no. no. That's the rhyme of sled. Come on, let's go over. Come on, let's go over. Um, Think of some more, Big the, Bird. The height of Gordon's bed. No, the rhyme's oh, with no. sled. That, that, rhyme. that, that rhymes, but it's not the right word. No, oh. no. What, what is it? Listen. Come on. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait. Don't touch it. Why you not? You have to make sure it's the right height. It says the height of Gordon's head. Yeah. Okay, right. let's see. Now that's your head right there, right? Yes, yeah, that's my head. Right. Boy, mm -hmm. it's a good thing I know all about the parts of the body. Ferrazaka, Ferrazaka, Domero, Domero, Domero Martina, Domero Martina, ding, ding, ding. The other day, I was watering the flowers in our backyard. And my brother came out with a surprise. Hey, well, look what I got. What is it? A jigsaw puzzle. Oh, good, let's do it. It was the biggest jigsaw puzzle I ever saw. Each piece was a different part of the body to make a picture of a little boy at the beach. This is the leg. This is another leg. First, we put in the legs. This is another leg. And then the feet. This is a foot. This is a foot. This is another foot. This is a hand. Then the hands. This is another hand. This is an arm. Then the arms. This is an arm. This is another arm. This is a body. The body. And this is a body. And the head. This is a head. Then we took all the pieces out again. Can you name them? This is a leg. This is another leg. This is a foot. This is another foot. This is a hand. This is a leather hand. This is an arm. This is another arm. This is a body. And this is a head. <laughs> Look at that silly brother of mine. He thinks he's a jigsaw puzzle. 
Okay, we got another clue. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, when we get that treasure, just think what it must have. Years ago, some pirates must have come here to Sesame Street and buried that treasure. Uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't know about it. It's well, not that kind of treasure, know. I don't think. Well, we, we never know. Here's, yeah, here's a clue. Here's a clue. Okay. Ready? Remember, we have to rhyme. Right. This clue is your very last. Mm. Uh huh. That's good. That's good. That's good. You won't have to search much more. You'll find the treasure in the window of the very nearest. Now, Big Bird has to rhyme with more. Floor. No, no, there's no window in the floor. Oh, no, come on, okay. Big Bird. A door. No, no. no, no, no. Hip him. Tell Hip him. him. Get him. Stop. Yeah, oh, I floor. knew that. Oh, oh boy, let's, let's go. An ice cream cone for everybody. Ladies first. Ladies. Ladies Good. first. One for you, Troy. Here we go. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, oh so it's that kind of treasure, treasure. not Why? diamonds and emeralds and rubies. Oh, no. You got the ball. Good. 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 Well, huh? I'm not disappointed. You're not? Nope. You know, if there's one thing I like more than gold and rubies, it's ice cream. <laughs> Hey Ernie! Hey Ernie! Hey, stop it! Stop it, Ernie! Hey Ernie! Hey, cut that out! Hey, 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 Ernie! Hey, Ernie! Ern, Ern. Ern. Hey, come on now! Cut that out, will you? What? Look at this mess, Ernie! What mess? I tell you, you are the sloppiest person I ever saw. Ooh. Now, if you don't get busy and clean this place up, hmm? I'm gonna move in with Oscar. What? His garbage can is needed in this place. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, okay, 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 Bert. Boy. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up so clean you wouldn't recognize it. Ha. Well, I tell you, when I'm done, you could eat off the floor. Ha, ha, ha. I'll believe that when I see it. Okay, well, you just go and let me get to work here. Okay. Well, I'll clean sure it up. Sure you do. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. One for the fiddle. Two for the bow. Three for the trumpet. And four to blow. Five for the drum. Six for the stick. Seven for the guitar. Eight for the pick. Nine for the piano. Ten for the hand. Hooray for the octopus. One man band. for the fiddle, two for the bow, three for the trumpet, and four to blow, five for the drum, six for the stick, seven for the guitar, eight for the pick, nine for the piano, ten for the hand, hooray for the octopus, one man band. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey. Hey, Ernie, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have never seen any place that looks so good. Right. Hey, are you finished? Oh, almost, Bert. Uh, the only thing left is my toy box. Well, go to it. Go okay. to it. This is beautiful. i got to clean up my toy box now. Let's see, we got uh, my uh, rubber ducky here. And uh, down here, my tinfoil ball. i got my X to mark the spot. And uh, that's my Spock, that's my dog, that's his name, you know. Uh, down here I got my worm collection, I don't want to forget that. Over here we got my paperclip collection, old tape, uh, my football helmet. Uh, down here we got, uh, well there's my peanut butter sandwich. Uh, over here we got, uh... This is an X. Even upside down, it's still an X. <laughs> uh, many words begin with X, such as, uh, well, of course, we, uh, X uh, begins, uh, did I show you when you, yeah, I showed you that. <clears throat> All right, uh, X is a very important letter. Many words end with X, <laughs> such as, uh, oh, you, uh, I came down here and had a of phone. Pardon me? Oh, yeah, uh, fox. Box. <laughs> Ox. Uh, fix. Axe. 
Mm. Uh, uh. One more X I should mention. Exit. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, what do you got there, Mr. Hooper? What have I got there? You know what I got here. <laughs> Tell me all about uh, it. Tell it to me. Each one of these is an X. They look mm. alike, don't they? Yeah, they look very much alike. Oh, when I put them together, you can see the difference, can't you? Yes, I can, as a matter of fact. Well, as a matter of fact, this is the capital X, the big X. Mm-hmm. This is the small X, mm -hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. But they are still X. Still X's, right? Yes. Right. Big or small, capital or small. That's still X. It's easy to remember. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to remember, but I've got a problem. What's your problem? I've got a problem because I've got a capital letter D right here. See? Oh, See capital letter oh. D? And I also have a small letter D. Do you? Now, they don't look anything alike, but they're both still Ds. Capital letter D and the small letter D, but both still Ds. D, dog. <laughs> Wow, wow. D. Uh, just put it right there, Dudley. Okay. Today, I would like to show you the letter D. Uh, right. Now, this is the capital D, and uh, uh, where's the small D, Dudley? Uh, I ate it for dinner. Well, get me another one. Yeah, okay. There you go. Thanks. Uh, now, as Dudley suggested, the word dinner begins with a D. Dudley, mind your manners. Don't chew with your mouth open. Make so. Uh. Whee! Wendy, dear, yeah. will you go to the store yes. and get me some apples yeah. and potato chips? Apples and potato chips. Yes, Mommy, yeah. I'll do that right now. Good girl. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 Oh, look at the pretty butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Oh, look at the pretty butterfly fly. Oh, I've got to go to the store now, butterfly. Bye-bye. Well, hello there, Wendy. Hello. Would you like to buy something? Oh, yes, yes I would. Well, what would you like to buy? Hmm? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll, I'll see you. Bye-bye. Oh, what was it I was supposed to get? Oh, let me see. Uh, uh, was it? No, was it? Oh, oh Mommy! Mommy! Oh, Wendy, did you get those things I asked you to get at the store, dear? No, you see, on the way to the store, I saw this pretty butterfly, and I started playing with it, and I forgot what I was supposed to get. <sighs> I asked you to get some apples. Apples. And potato and chips. And potato so. chips. Mm. Okay, I'll go right, right. now. Bye-bye. Catch it, too. Oh, look at that. It's a little worm. Hello, little worm. Hello there. Oh, how cute the little worm is. I've got to go to the grocery store now. Bye-bye. Well, Wendy, did you find out what you're supposed to buy? I sure did. Good. What are you supposed to buy? I'll be right back. Oh. oh, what was I supposed to get? Mommy, mommy. Did you get the groceries, Wendy? Well, I started to, but I stopped to play with a worm. Oh, you certainly are forgetful today, dear. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted you to get some apples. Apples, yes, and apples. Potato chips. And potato chips, yes. I'll yeah. tell you how to remember. Okay. Sometimes apples have worms in them. Yeah. So the next time you see a worm, yeah. think of apples. Oh, okay. And you see, sometimes potato chips look something like butterflies. Yes. And so, the next time you see a butterfly, think of potato chips, okay, dear. Okay, okay, I'll do that right now. Good butterfly, girl. Fly, butterfly, bye bye. Butterflies, uh, wings, potato chips, apples, worms. Yes, that's nice. 
Who's playing that music? Hmm. Butterfly wings. Uh, uh, potato chips. Oh, let me see. Do, 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 do. Well, Wendy, now did you uh, find out what you wanted to buy? I certainly did. What My mommy told me to buy. Yeah? I forgot. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that little worm crawling. Oh, oh, wait. Wait. Apples yeah. have worms. Right. My mommy told me to get apples. That's it, apples. One bag of apples. One bag Coming of right apples. Up, yes, I knew that okay. was it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the pretty butterf butterfly. Butterfly wings sometimes look like potato chips. Oh, yes. Uh, a bag of potato chips, too, please. A bag of potato chips. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. okay, here you are, Wendy. Apples and potato chips. Apples you and You certainly did remember chips. this time, Wendy. I sure did. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I'm getting tired of that song. Mommy, mommy. Oh, are those the groceries I asked you to get? They sure are. A great big bag of butterflies and worms. All right, you know what this is, right? Yes. Well, and what is it? An owl. You sound like a chorus. <laughs> an owl. It's an owl, yeah. It's a great horned owl. You know why they call it the great horned owl? No. It doesn't huh? have horns. You're right about that. It doesn't have horns. But it oh, does I have horns. Oh, that. why, Cedric? It looks like it has horns. My man, you got that right. Yeah, Brian, that's right. Um, yeah, they're not really horns, they're though. Feathers. They're feathers, big yeah, tufts of yeah, feathers. Stick out like no, they're not really ears either. They also look like ears. Yeah. But, um. Rabbit ears. Mm -hmm. I wonder no, they're how feathers. he can turn his head all the way around. Oh, that's an old owl trick. All the owls do that. Turn their heads all the way around. Otherwise, they wouldn't know, they wouldn't know what was happening behind them, right? And you know when owls see best? When? At night. At night. Not That's really. Not That's really. Why he has the, his eye closed. No, he has his eye closed because I think that eye is bothering him. His left eye is bothering him a little bit. But um, they see best at dawn or dusk, just around evening, because they need a little bit of light. Just a little light to be able the to sun see. Is but setting when the sun, yeah, out. but when the sun's shining, that's too much light for them. And when it's pitch black at night, they can't see either. So they need just a little light. But they sleep all the day. Night the night owl, they're all night owls. And speaking of night owls and guys who stay up late, Bob and some of his friends have been staying up for night after night, just waiting to sing for us. So let's join Bob and some of his friends. OK, Al? Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. You twinkle above us, we twinkle below. Good morning, starshine. You lead us along, my love and me, as we sing our early. Saba sibi saba, nubi aba naba, le le la lo. Tubi ubi waba, nubi aba naba, early morning singing song. Good morning, starshine, with love in your sky, just watching the sunlight in my lover's eye. Good morning, starshine, so happy to see my love and me as we sing our 
early morning singing song. Glitty glop, gloopy, nippy nappy, noopy, la 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 la. Saba sibi saba, nubi abi naba, le lo la la. Tubi ubi waba, nubi abi naba, early morning singing song. Singing a song, humming a song, singing a song. Tubi ubi waba, loving a song. Humming a song, singing a song. La, 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 la. Sing the song, song the singing, song, 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 sing, 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 sing song. Morning. It's it's the beginning of a new day. You know what's wrong with this owl? No. Hmm. Well, yeah, he does have a problem with his eye right now, but he wants to say goodbye, and he can't say it in owl talk because nobody will understand him. So we'll have to say it for him. Okay. Good. See you later. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, owl. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters D and X and by the number one. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Television Network.